Okay, all right. Uh, he's gonna be here. He's here. These are nice. Yep, yep. Everything's all set. And uh, okay. All right, let, let's get this video started. Do I have everything? Okay, where's my phone? Where's, oh God damn it! Really? You guys are really gonna start doing that to me now? Hey, what's going on out there, guys? Dovakin here, and I am showing you my collections of, or no, my collection of game systems. So here I'm gonna switch to the, um, not the face camera, but the um, other camera, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. So here we go. We got my five game systems. Of course, you can't really see that one because it's covered in games. Now, um, what should I start with? What should I start with? Mm, let's go from oldest to newest. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, shit. I don't know which ones. Which ones? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do this. The town sixty four. Here we go, guys. You got yourself in an, a classic, old-fashioned Nintendo 64 game made in... Where the fuck does it say it? 1996, if that's right or not. So here we go. You got a 1996 old-fashioned classic Super... Not Super. Nintendo 64. I've had this system before as a kid. Way back when I was at least eight years old. Man, did I have a lot of fun with it, but then again, it was, um, I kind of, like, exchanged it for a new system, which, of course, this one comes in, but we'll show you that next one. Um, along with the games that actually come with all the systems, so we're going to start over here, WW, um, Worldwide Federation Attitude, WWE, this, this is actually not, not so bad of a game, but I just don't know how to play it. I can't do moves. I can't, like, pin the guy. It, it's so hard to it's so hard to do, but it's actually a very fun game. It's, it's kind of funny playing it. Mortal Kombat X. Now, seriously, this game, this game is... This is this is a different story. I don't, I don't really quite understand it. I mean, the controls for the game are so different. I'm only knowing how to do one combo, so... <laughs> yeah. And then Star Wars... The Rogue Squadron. That is a fun game. It's basically like a um, aircraft game where you're going around and shooting other stuff. So it's basically like Battlefront, except without the Battlefront, it's just a Star Wars Rogue Squadron. It's actually a very, very fun game. I was actually playing that just the other day. Turok. Now I basically know this game was for the Xbox, if I'm right, or um, maybe as an older system. But oh, this game. I have not played this game with at least 12 years, and this is like, whoo, this is my childhood right here. That was a fun game. Now, as you all may know, Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Now, this game is, it's its kind of hard to play because the controls are inverted, and uh, they're, they're, just, they're just a tad bit sensitive, but that would be actually no problem to the fact if you guys know how to control an inverted because I hate inverted it's so hard that's what the controls are they're inverted it's so hard to play so there you have it. you got my Nintendo 64 classic I am thinking about painting it I don't know when or if I am but I know for a fact that I love this system external storage Oh yeah, that's the yep, extra out. Man, did I do I love this? Okay, and we got the Super Nintendo here. This was made in. Nineteen ninety eight. One. So this was five years before Nintendo sixty four. Oh, I should have started with this one. Now I know which came first. So, the only game I was able to get with it, because I spent 70, okay, hold on, here, let me go back. I spent at least, hmm, probably 60, 70 bucks. It was actually a good price, too, it wasn't, wasn't that much. And then now I'm back to here, that I paid about 70, the same, and then I also went ahead and painted it myself. You guys would have seen that video already. Um... I painted it red, and I put, uh, uh, 
we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Alumi yeah, aluminum. I put aluminum up in the front, and then I put gold in around the sides there. It's actually pretty nice. It's not so bad looking. And then I am gonna put something up here, but I don't know what or when. Okay, so then next comes the original Xbox. Now, oof, this sucker's. This thing's like. It feels like this thing's more heavier than all the others. So hold on, here. Let me. Okay. I, ooh, Jesus. Okay, and this one, ooh, and that's about the same. Yeah, okay, no, I guess I'm wrong. I guess all three systems are about the same. Okay, now the story behind this one is I didn't buy it. I've had it for over 10 years, well, 10 to 12 years, and I haven't played it since. One day, I'm looking over my 360, my Xbox One, my Super, my, my Super Nintendo, and my Nintendo 64, I'm looking over the games and everything. I'm just like, you know what, where, where, where's my Xbox? Let's bring that one out. So I, um, it was under my bed for literally 10 years, 10 to 12 years. I haven't touched it since. I brung it out, swept it all off, got all the dust off it. It's actually not even, it's not, it's not clean. As you see, I still got, still got some work to do on it. But this is a maybe, if I'm going to paint it, I don't know. But the only thing I'm really, if I do, the only thing I'm going to paint is like the X here. And I'm thinking about painting this gold. So uh, that this is this is a maybe for it. But um Yes, I've I've had the game for like ten or twelve years and I haven't played it since. Um but then you know just just about one or two weeks ago I actually burned it out and sadly I didn't have the cord for it so I went to uh, media replay and Saginaw, Michigan, if you guys know where that is, and, um, went to meet a replay, I asked the guy, hey, you guys carry Xbox cords? He says, yeah, you know, we got them all, he brings up a couple Xbox cords, and so I bought them, along, along with, like, a couple games, and, uh, so I bought them, and, and the total was not even at least 40 to 50 bucks, it was, it was nothing, really. Um, other than that, bring it home, put it in a game and played it, and it works just as it did before. There was no crowns or what, whatnot whatsoever. It just works just fine. And, uh, here's actually the cord that came actually, or no, controller that came with it. It's actually a very fun, funny, funky controller. I've never seen a controller like this before. I know there's very different types of controllers, but this is like the, the most coolest one I've ever had. Now, the original ones I've ever had was where it has like two slots up here, like up in the, up, up, up on top. You got the joystick, the analog buttons there and everything. I've never had that. I've never had that. Or have I never had, wait, is that it? Yeah, it's just, yeah, that's about it. Um. But no, I've never had a controller like this. This is actually really, really cool. But sadly, it takes... You guys can see that really up close. It takes a... You can actually put your headset into it, but... It's not like my headset. It's a much way skinnier adapter to it. But um, let's get to the games. Alright, so here we go. We got Peter Jackson's King Kong official game of the movie. Now, this game is not the official game of the movie. It's not even close. It's way different. The movie itself, it, it is itself, but the game is not the official game of the movie. It's not really. It's a completely different thing. There's some shit in this game that doesn't, that never showed up in the movie. Like, I think that was the one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking love this game. This game is freaking awesome. You get to play as King Kong yourself. You get to whoop ass. You get to kill shit. You get to play as you play play as man, play as Kong. Look at that. And this game, this game was the shit when I played it, but it is not official game of the movie. It is not. There's like so many things in there that's so much different from the movie. So that's that. All right, next to Medal of Honor, European Assault. I fucking love this game. Now, ten or twelve years ago. I couldn't really play this because, you know, the disc got all scratched up and, uh, it was unplayable. But, um, you know, I got it back. 
you know, it works just 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 as it as I could before. And uh, wow, it, it was a fa such a fantastic game. I loved it. I think it takes place for like behind a story of an actual war veteran. He's telling the story, and then you guys have, you get to play as that veteran. Um, and then you go through of like you know how you took down this German guy, or you hunted him, or something like that. It's actually a very cool game. I loved it. Okay, next number thirteen. Um, oh God! Now this game, this it feels like this game comes straight out of comic book. This game is fucking weird, but it's really cool. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Um. I don't even know how to explain this game, but you guys have to see that for yourself. Cause just just look it up in YouTube. Number thirteen info or facts, whatever you want. I can't really explain that. Now moral win. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Oh my god. As soon as I seen it, I was like, nope, nope, nope. Gotta have it. Nope. I don't give a shit. We'll press, I'm gonna fight, fucking pay for it. It's gotta be mine. It's mine. It's mine. I don't care. I don't care what press. It's mine. Because I absolutely love the Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls are my life. Now, um... Let me take you back over here for a second. And grab... These two. Let me move these over here. Now, if you guys would see, I'm doing this for 19 years. Niggas want to fight me, fight Thanks about that. Is that all? all for this is legendary version. This comes with more one. This is 360 version more one. Oh, look what I got. I got original Xbox. And they got 360 Oblivion. And they got 360 Sky and Legendary. Oh my god. I'm so fucking happy. I'm so fucking psyched. I have all the fucking Elder Scrolls, man. Sick. I fucking love it. It's awesome. It's absolutely amazing. I haven't really beat the game. I just got into it. Not even like today. Here. This game. Um, this one. And uh, I knew I picked out another one. Oh yeah. And number 13. Those are the three new games I got today. So, uh, other than that, yeah, guys, I have them all, and I'm so fucking happy about it. I, I fucking love them. They're absolutely amazing. Now, Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy. I have the complete pack. This was that much. Crazy, right? It's actually worth it. And, um, the reason why I bought it for that much is because I want to Grand Theft Auto 3, and... I went back there and I looked, and there I know there was a Grand Theft Auto 3 available for like five bucks, even though that um, this was a complete trilogy, so you get all three in one. That's that's fucking crazy, man. That's awesome. And I was just playing this today too. This was <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. It's so much fun. Now it says to one to two players, but I don't know how the hell you play two player on this. I never knew. I mean, unless it was for online, but I don't see no online. There's like, there's like no online option. It just says one to two players, but I'll have to check that out for myself. Okay, next, we are going on to Xbox 360. I know you guys are going to say, Boo, Xbox 360 sucks, it's too old. Yes, I know. Game's old and all, but come on. Gotta have some fun with them, right? Okay, with these games, I have this amazing Spider-Man, which, of course, I am getting rid of. I had 28 games with me um, before that, but I got rid of them all, like, today. And got me, not even 60 bucks worth of games. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so with me, Amazing Spider-Man, you guys know that game. Call of Duty Black Ops, you guys know that game. Skyrim, you guys know that game. Oblivion, you guys know that game. Now, Doom 3, I've seen this on the original Xbox, and then I've seen it on the 6 of it. I gotta fucking have it. I played it, I beat it, I fucking loved it. It's absolutely amazing. Now, Riddick, I saw it on Dark Athena, that was fucking awesome. The, now, here's where my um, fancy started. Back then, when I seen uh, Riddick, the movies, 
and then I played games, I became an absolutely loving fan of this guy. Vin Diesel is... God, I wish he was my brother. He's fucking awesome, man. He's like the fucking shit. He's like a fucking beast. He's nuts. Um, then we got Fear 3. Now, this game scares the shit out of me. I mean, I know you guys have some scarier games in your guys' time, but this is... This, this is really something. Like, I've never seen a game like this. This shit fucking freaks me out. Literally, I'm five minutes into the game, and I just paused the game. And my hands are shaking. And then you guys must know these games. Here's World 1, 2, and 3. Now, I know I'm missing Years of War Judgment, but still. this These are an absolutely fantastic game. I fucking love them. From 1 to 3, all the way. It was absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you guys must know all the games that I have here. So, uh, that was that. Now, I guess the moment you guys were all been waiting for, the Xbox One. And I know what guys may think, what is that written on your... Well, I painted it, and I did it myself, because... Then you guys get the idea. Now, very fucking strange funny. Very, very strange, but funny story. I'm sitting there, you know, thinking, like, what what should I play? Because I was actually pretty bored. I went inside here. I took out this piece of paper, and all of there was this white piece of paper sticking behind here. I didn't know what it was. So I didn't really bother with it. And I looked at it, and I was just like, what are these stickers, or is it just a picture of it, or, you know, what? I took the paper out, and, uh, I looked at it close, and it looked like stickers. And I was right. So I was like, oh, they are stickers! So I peeled them out, and I was just like, thinking, I was like, wait a minute, where, what, what am I going to put them on? Where, where am I going to put it? You know, where? And I just looked at my Xbox, and I was like, this, this is a huge award. So, let's make it look like Gears of War version instead of just an original Xbox. So that's what I did. I um, took the stickers, put them on there. And then I know there was like this common thing in the game, they would say Grub Killer. Like, you guys would know that reference, of course, would be written on one of the soldiers' like chest, on one of their chest pieces. So that's what I did. I took paint, and I wrote Grub Killer. Because I am a grub killer. I fucking kill grubs a lot. And then, you know what? I'm gonna start from the beginning to end. Hmm. This is the very first game I got with it. Rise, Son of Rome was absolutely fun as hell. I mean, it's it's like that. I can't tell what kind of game it is, but it's an absolutely fun and awesome game. You guys might have seen it in my gameplay as well, so you guys will know what the game is. Fallout 4, you guys seen, you guys seen like, a, quite a few um, videos I made about this game. I haven't really gotten to that game around yet, I don't know why, but sadly. Um, I am hoping on getting around to it even more soon, very soon. Next, we got the Halo Master Chief Collector's Edition. This is awesome. I mean, it's got all four... Uh, Halos, wait a minute, no, all five, no, is there four or five Halos you guys would know for yourself, but, yes, I love this, this is, this is really, really cool, and it's an Xbox One version, it looks just, just, just fucking badass, I just fucking love it, absolutely amazing, here we go, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you guys would know that game for yourself so much, as I do love it, but it causes me a pain in the ass for the zombies itself and as well um, but I love the campaign yeah campaign was fucking awesome and everything online multiplayer is absolutely fun as hell so uh, yeah there's your Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Dying Light now as soon as I seen this game I was like Dying Light? What the hell is this? Good night, good luck what is this? Is it a zombie game or something? I mean, I don't... 
I don't get what, what what this is. I mean, it looked like a really cool game at first, and I'm just like, mm, looks like a zombie game. Let's uh, let's get it, you know? Let's do it. So I bought it and I played it and I beat it. Oh my god, it's absolutely amazing! It's like, it's so much better than Dead Island, like ten times better. Like that is the new Dead Island. That Dead Island that would kick Dead Island's ass. But yeah, Far Cry Prime. Now this is the most supposed to be the most. Game of the Year Award Edition, or um, at least if I'm right, this is the newest game that was supposed to come out this year. Or I'm sorry, this is the newest game that came out this year, and I loved it. I I just beat it not even the other night, and I loved it. It was absolutely amazing. It was. I'm sitting there one day, you know, and I'm playing Far Cry as myself, like like one, two, or three, well, no, two, three, or four, and um. And I'm playing it. I was like, you know what? I gotta have Far Cry Primal. I really want to play it so bad. Because if you guys know uh, H.O. Delirious or um, Wildcat or any of those other guys that play Far Cry Primal themselves, because they were sponsored by Ubisoft to actually play it, which I've actually... Um, that's pretty fucking badass. I mean, I... I yeah. Um, but yes. I, uh, I played it, I beat it, and I loved it. I wish, you know... I can get around to that, but I was hoping to do it a little bit more Fallout 4 than I get to Far Cry Primal. I am hoping to do gameplay in all these games. That would leave me so many videos and like so many views and possibly, and I'm hoping in my life, so many subscribers. I really am hoping. But, uh, yes, I guess that is, um... Actually, you know what? No, nope. I almost forgot to tell a story. Yes, um, I bought my Xbox One not even like a few months ago, way before winter. And uh, funny story, went in there, and I saved up a lot of money just because of it. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, let's let's get this Xbox One. Then. We looked over the price of three forty nine. Checked out the guy. He was like, yeah, three, three like. Guy yeah, was charging over 360 bucks. I was like, "What? That can't be right." Draven comes up, he sorts them out. He gives me the right price, and of course, I bought the Halo Master Chief collection with it. So that was roughly, roughly around almost 400 dollars. So I saved up a lot of money for that. And so he straightened the guy out. You know, he got the actually got the price right, and then he got me right. So. That was how it became for the Xbox One. If you guys want to know the story, um, I'll probably tell it sometime. Uh, but, well, I guess you know what? That was the guys I ever have it for my collection of game systems. Hope you guys had a great time watching. And, um, you know what? I'm probably going to say this. I meant to say this at the beginning of the video. If you guys are classic lovers, classic game system lovers... Or if you guys are classic haters, then get the fuck off this video because this is not for classic haters. This is for classic lovers like myself because I am a big fan of classics. Literally, when I seen this stuff, I could not help but have it. So, um, yes, but have it at that. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a great time watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And um, hopefully very soon I will um, have that painting my uh, Super Nintendo up hopefully tonight or maybe soon so like i said don't forget to like share comment hope you guys have a great time watching and don't forget to play responsible thanks for watching guys